Welcome back, YouTube. So we're reviewing all the neutral legendaries are coming in. Shout out, sh show down the Badlands. <clears throat> now, hopefully, you guys can't hear. Both my roommates right now are in the middle of a Fortnite tournament, and so they've been yelling and screaming quite often. So hopefully, you can hear that in the video at all. Um, but let's jump right into it. So the first legendary here is Thunderbringer, eight mana, six six elemental and beast, taunt, death rattle, summon an elemental and beast from your deck. Now here's the thing: we already got this card. This was our um, free card we got when they first announced the set, um, and it's seen some play in what Rogue, Paladin, and Shaman, I think. And I think Rogue and Paladin have been the most consistent ones so far. And I know out of the videos I did for it, I think my Paladin video did pretty solid, around 900 views, I think. Um, and I had a lot of fun playing the Paladin version rather than the um, Rogue version. But after playing it for a little bit and you know playing against it, I'd say it's a two out of five. The fact that it costs eight mana for you know that effect, and the fact that it's not a battle cry and it's just a death battle effect, just kind of, it's kind of eh. I, it is fun to cheat the effect out, and you know, but very little time that's happened in my <laughs> and when I've played it. I think I got like one time when I in that video when I got it to like cheat it out or whatever, and I played the deck quite a bit. So this this card feels pretty underwhelming so far. And even like after all these new cards get added in and the meta slows down, I still don't think it's gonna be all that great. Now there are a lot of beasts and stuff like that coming. Um, beast and elementals and stuff like that coming from her deck. So this might be a thing where Thunderbringer could like cheat out Slugma or whatever that 4 16 16 from uh, Warrior. Um, and you know, all those other like Warrior um, beasts that are coming out to have Taunt and have those stats and all that stuff. Like this, this might be better in a Warlock deck than anything, or if I say Warlock and Warrior deck. Um, I still don't think it's all that great and I don't think it's gonna be any better. If this cost six mana, maybe it would be a tad bit more insane, but. Or not even insane, just be more better. But the fact that the death rattle, they can easily get around it. There's so much silence and so much removal that it's probably not going to even be that big of an impact on the meta. I'm going to give it a two out of five. And it still hasn't really defined any of the meta right now before all this stuff comes out. Um, so up next is Sheriff Barrel Brim. Four mana, four, four, Battlecraft. You have 20 or less health. Open up the Badlands Jail, which is this thing right here. Make a minion go dormant for three turns. Oh my god, this card's getting a signature. I hope I get this one. Out of my uh, out of my packs, or at least from my uh, free one that I get from my bundle, um, but you know I'm blessing my card pack openings to be insane. Like my last one, I think I well I got like three or four signatures or whatever. No, it was two signatures, right? Two signatures and like three goldens. I think I had really good luck. Um, I'm hoping that I get the same treatment this time around. But I think this card's not too bad. It's a really it's gonna feel really good in the Highlander deck. It's gonna feel pretty good just in any deck throwing it in there as a extra slot you can't figure out what you want to put in there you throw this card in there and you know if you're low on mana or low on health i mean drop it down you make it uh, an important mini go dormant and the big thing is since it goes dormant for three turns and you do this every other turn you're filling up spots on the board and it's going to limit what they're able to play and how wide they could get their board so that's also something to really think about i think this card should be pretty good i, I don't think it's meta breaking but i think it's going to be a really good kind of like tech flash control type card um and you can probably put this in the etc band manager as well as it's something kind of like oh you know Really low on HP, I need to get rid of the or I need to like slow down this guy a bit. Let me drop this down. It's gonna feel pretty good. I'm gonna do four out of five. Flint firearm. This card's so cool. It's getting a diamond. I'm gonna just drop $50 to get this diamond. Um, I swear if they don't have any other like signature stuff or like packs added on to this as well, I'd be very upset because I'm not gonna spend you know 30 or 40 or however much it is just for the single card. But the diamond animation for this is amazing. But let's get into it. So it's three minus three, three. Bad cry, get a random quick draw card if you play it this turn, repeat this. Um, quick draw stuff is very cheap and they're all very impactful. And there's healing, there's damage, there's so many other little things. Let me just double check, right? Real fast with the all the quick draws. So yeah, you have the farm hand, you have the pocket sand, rehydrate, uh silver serpent, heat wave, lay down the law, malevolent banker, drill the kid. So if you're playing an excavate deck and you might get lucky and get drilly kid off this guy, that that even goes even further into it because it has the battle cry and death throw effect activated treasure. So like playing Flint uh, Firearm in, in any type of excavate deck and just having the chance of hitting really is gonna be so insane. Um Bounty Wrangler, quick draw or combo, get a coin. So you can like net coins too. Dehydrate's great. Um troll uh trolley problem, you get two, three, three uh tram cars, misfire's not terrible, as right chain gain, battle cry and quick draw summon up a copy of it. There's also the sunspot dragon, um, and then the horseshoe. Uh, Slinger, which we haven't talked about that guy yet at all, but back cry deal with your damage to the random enemy, quick draw, and see neighbors. It's all right. Uh, but like all the quick draw stuff is very impactful. And the fact that um, 
get a random quick draw card. I don't know how it works with like if it if it counts if it like gets the uh quick draw effect or whatever. Um so maybe that's the thing to kind of like I don't know about yet. And I haven't seen any gameplay of this guy yet so far. Um so if you if you if it since it adds it to your hand, I'm not care or maybe if it get get a random quick draw card. Yeah, I don't know if it if it makes it like so some of them have like a like rehydrate or whatever, for example, right? Or dehydrate. The quick draw effect drops it down to one if it does get that a quick draw effect for it. I'm not really sure if that's the case. If it does, this card's a five out of five. But if it's not, I'm gonna say it's probably a four out of five. Because still the chance of getting drilly, getting any of the quick draw stuff is just solid. They do good things. Um it's a great card. So if it if it does do what I say it does or where I hope it does, where you get it, it has its quick draw effect already activated, and so you could, you know, play it right away and have like immediate impact. That's a five out of five card for me for sure. But if it's not, it's probably four out of five, because you know, like I said, getting all drilly, getting all the other ones are not too bad. Up next, Reno Lone Ranger. Oh my gosh, this guy has been insane so far from what I've seen. Eight mana, out of cry. If your deck has no duplicates, empty the board and limit it to one minion for a turn. It's high noon. So it slows down them really hard, and then they can only play one card the following turn. Those cards are broken. And on top of that, you get multiple hero powers with it, and I'll just go over those real quickly. Um, let's see. Reno's hand cannon shoot. This turn's magic bullet. So then there's the Arcane Bullet, deal 2 damage, refresh 2 mana crystals, deal 2 damage, gain 4 armor, deal 2 damage, then 1 damage to all enemy minions, deal 2 damage, give a friendly minion plus 2 plus 2, wow, okay, deal 2 damage, discover a spell, deal 2 damage, summon for a random 3 cost minion, yeah, random 1, deal 2 damage, and draw a card, so there's Fell, Shadow, Nature, Holy, Fire, Frost, and Arcane, so they all kind of have like a mixture of it, and they all have really cool little artworks for that all those are really good for two mana they're really high impactful uh or really high impact hero powers um reno's good is a five out of five star card for sure i mean i think anyone this is worth playing on top of having a yog there's gonna be so much control and basically any highlander deck is gonna play this card no matter what i'm really sad this didn't get a diamond but i will be going out of my way to craft a gold one for this one um so that's a guarantee for sure i think this card's gonna be amazing and this will definitely allow all the Highlander deck stocks to go up and we'll probably see play no matter what, even though I think probably the worst <sighs> Shaman and what Hunter are probably the worst ones so far, but having Reno be kind of a part of it might make this a little bit more interesting, but yeah, five out of five star cards, cards are insane. Sorry, I don't know if you guys heard that yelling or not. Up next is Kingpin Pud, six mana, six, seven, Battle Cry Resurrect or Ogre Gang. Give them Wind Fury. Now, I'm not sure that I... Yeah, I did add, add them here. I don't know how I feel about this stuff. This kind of feels like a wasted legendary, or like a, a wasted spot for what could be here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's talk about the Ogres real fast. But there's Ogre Gang Ace, 5 mana, 5, 4, Rush. One of its attacks gain Divine Shield, 50% chance to gain life steal instead. This is kind of very interesting. I feel like this is one of the better uh, Ogre effects, right? Um, it doesn't have a chance to hit the wrong guy, and so, you know, it just has a chance of gain gaining Divine Shield or Lifesteal. I feel like they could have done that with the other two guys here, and gave just different keywords, like, oh, accidentally gets reborn, or not accidentally, but, like, you know, gets reborn, or um, charge, or, you know, just, like, stuff like that, where, like, Battlecry have a chance of getting charge, or rush, or reborn, and Divine Shield, or, you know, just the different keywords kind of make it a little bit more, you know, interesting, I guess, but this is really the only good one. And this one has a chance of giving a hero three attack instead of attacking, but it's a fifty percent chance. And it is for four mana. It's not bad stats either. And then there's the ogre gang outlaw, which this is like the wrong one. This could you know hit your own face or whatever. It has a chance to, or I guess a chance to attack the wrong enemy. So I guess maybe it's not limited. Let's say it wasn't the last one like fifty percent chance to attack the wrong opponent or something. I don't remember. Maybe this has a chance of hitting your face. If this doesn't, then maybe it's not gonna be too bad. But you know, the fact to it is. All these three guys here come back with Wind Fury. Now, I don't think that's too impactful. I mean, they all do have Rush, but still. You can't get multiple copies of this guy, from what I understand. It's just guaranteed to get the three for this guy right here. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to say this is a two-star card. I think it's kind of interesting if you are able to, you know, get at least these two here. Um, it might just be worth it, but the fact of it is you have to, like, take up the spot in your deck. And that's why it's not going to be good, I don't think. Uh, this might be random, like a Highlander deck or something. You just run one copy of all of these, and then 
have you play them you just have king putt as maybe a last game finisher on top of all your other last game finishers you have in highlander deck um i do love the artwork for this though this guy's pretty cool looking i like how he's like you know a rugged ranger and stuff like that but yeah, I don't know really how I feel about it. And like, if I had to give a rating for these guys, this is probably the better one. This is probably this is a two out of five. This is a three out of five. I think this could probably find it in the deck and like a or find its way into like a cheap deck. You know, if you're playing like a um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, free to play deck or whatever. If you just happen to open up this as an epic, you can throw that in your deck or whatever. It's not gonna be too bad. And this one's not terrible. I mean, it's four man three six and has a chance of giving yourself three attack. It's probably two out of five. And this one's just a one out of five. Like. Not guaranteeing to hit what you want is already really bad as is. I mean, the stats for three man is not bad, but still, it's just mediocre. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys so far. Uh, I am pretty excited for these legendaries. I do love, you know, Barrel Brim, Flint Arm, uh, Firearm, and Reno. These are all really great legendaries. The rest are kind of eh. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I think everyone here can agree that Reno is pretty broken. I am curious about Flint and Firearm, though, whether or not it's going to be good and whether or not a uh, share of Barrel Brim is going to be good. But you know, I could hope. But don't forget to like and subscribe. 